Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is Commonalities of Acids and Bases. Students, as you know, that all acids have same properties and similarly all bases have same properties so what is the reason behind this there must be something common in all acids causing acids to have same properties also there must be something common in all bases which cause them to have same properties in this session we will decode this something which is common in all acids and all bases let us now first discuss about acids that is what do all acids have in common for this we will first conduct an activity take solutions of glucose alcohol hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid etc fix two nails on a cork and place the cork in a 100 ml beaker connect the nails to the two terminals of a 6 volt battery through a bulb and a switch as shown in the figure now pour some dilute hydrochloric acid in the beaker and switch on the current What do you observe? The bulb starts glowing. This shows that hydrochloric acid solution taken in a beaker conducts electricity. If we repeat this experiment by taking sulfuric acid, the bulb glows again. This shows that sulfuric acid conducts electricity. In fact, all the acid solutions conduct electricity. Glowing of the bulb indicates that there is a flow of electric current through the solution. The electric current is carried through the acidic solution by ions. Now, repeat the experiment separately with glucose and alcohol solutions. What do you observe now? Does the bulb glow in all cases? The bulb does not glow in both these cases. This shows that glucose and alcohol solution do not conduct electricity. The aqueous solution of an acid conducts electricity due to the presence of charged particles called ions in it. So, all acids contain hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions present in acids is such that when acid is dissolved in water, it separates out as positively charged hydrogen ions and enters the solution as H plus ions. So, we can say that an acid is a substance which dissociates on dissolving in water to produce hydrogen ions or H plus ions. So, the common thing in all the acids is that they produce hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. Let's now move ahead and discuss about what do bases have in common. First of all, we need to understand that not all the bases dissolve in water. But some bases dissolve in water and they are called as alkalis. Now, whenever we will talk about base in this discussion, we will be talking about these water-soluble bases known as alkalis. Now, we will conduct a similar experiment as we have done for testing about acids by taking bases like sodium hydroxide or calcium hydroxide. And the bulb starts glowing. 
This shows that basic solution taken in a beaker conducts electricity. Glowing of the bulb indicates that there is a flow of electric current through the solution. The electric current is carried through the basic solution by ions. So, we can conclude that when a base is dissolved in water, it always produces hydroxide ions, OH-. For example, sodium hydroxide is a base because it dissolves in water to produce hydroxide ions. So, we can conclude that a common property of all the bases or alkalis is that they produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. In this video, we studied the commonalities of acids and bases. In the next video, we will learn about pH.